Hey, it's Brett with Complete Trailers. Today we're taking a look at the 8.5x28 ATC all aluminum toy hauler. Now we're going to specifically focus on the features that make this model year different from the previous year and also show you why this is hands down the best toy hauler on the market today. Customers spoke, ATC listened, they put together a ton of upgrades on this particular model year. Now we have jammed almost every available accessory into this trailer, so we're gonna take a look at those starting at the front. Now on the front, the LP tanks, the old version, the LP tanks were exposed. They simply added a cover to cover up those LP tanks. Now we've got a generator with a fueling station on this model. We do that a lot on a lot of our stock units that are 25 and 28 foot long and the very front compartments are access for storage, but they're also access for batteries. Now we usually stock these trailers with one 12 volt AGM battery, and we prep it for a second battery. The reason we don't put two batteries in to start off with is some customers prefer to go to a six volt system for better cranking power. So we start with one 12 volt AGM, and then we leave it up to the customer to change it or add whatever they desire on their setup. Because we have a location in Colorado, one of the accessories that we add on is a four inch frame lift. We do that on most of our stock units and it gives you extra clearance when you're going up into the mountains or on uneven roads, for example. Uh, another thing we're gonna point out here is that we did a white exterior. It's a 40,000 skin with a blackout package. Now the blackout package is an add-on, it's an accessory. It does cost some money, so if you don't necessarily want that or like that look, we can eliminate that. We always, for our stock units, eliminate the decals that are on the side of the trailer. It's an option with ATC, but we find that with the sun, those decals crack and can peel, and so we just leave them off. One of the best upgrades about this model year is that the windows are much larger versus previous years. The best thing about that, it gives you a ton of natural light on the inside of the trailer. Now on the inside, if you look at the windows, the window treatment has changed as well. It's Instead of doing the old accordion style window treatment, there are now just a simple roll down blackout shade, which is a great addition. The entrance door has a window and a screen, and the step, albeit it's a little clunky uh, to move in and out, it's attached to the inside of the door. And one of the concerns or questions that people have is, hey, can I check my cargo while that step is up in place and you can you can actually look in there but if you want to get into the trailer you're going to have to deploy that step now the nice thing about that step because i did mention it was a little clunky and it was a negative thing but the step once it's deployed is a much better and a, a much bigger upgrade versus the previous flip out old style rv step so once you're at camp you're good to go it's a great quality step Okay, now the axles on this model, since it's a 28 foot, we always go with the 5,000 pound Dexter torsion axles. Uh, now they'll come, they come with aluminum wheels. Uh, also on the side of the trailer, right next to the entrance door, you've got your coax cable hookup. If you wanted to add a satellite dish, you can set it out on the ground right next to the trailer, uh, or you can even connect the television right there as well. So that's a great uh, input that's really convenient right next to the door. Uh, the awning on the side of the trailer is a 12 volt awning, so it's battery powered. You just simply hit a switch and the awning just rolls out. We added two air conditioning units to the 28 foot. We feel that's important since we've got a location in Texas. Um, not necessarily so in Colorado because once you get to the mountains, it's pretty cool at night, but in Texas, you gotta have air, air conditioning. So we had two AC units to the 28 foot shown here. In between the two tires, you're gonna see the fill for the generator. So that's just your fuel intake. You just pull up to a gas station, take your pump, stick it in, fuel up, ready to go. On the side of the trailer, we also have 12 volt speakers. Now those coincide with the stereo system that we've got on the inside. There are four stabilizer jacks, one in each corner around the outside of the trailer. You can stabilize the trailer when you're at camp. Uh, and there's also a standard spare tire that comes with the trailer mounted underneath that has super easy access if you need to change out a tire. At the rear, we've got a couple of loading lights up above the ramp door and cargo vice locks. Now that's a keyed lock that allows you to use the same key that you use for the entrance door on the rear ramp door. So no need for any padlocks any longer. You've got cargo vice locks that take that place. When you open up the ramp door, you'll notice that there are no cables involved any longer. The springs replace the standard hinge on the very bottom and that allows you to open up the ramp door without it being too heavy and it eliminates the springs. The ramp door itself is constructed out of extruded aluminum and that's 
got a coating, a texture on it that's a uh, kind of a sand coating or a grit, if you will. Gives you some texture when you're driving a vehicle uh, up into the trailer. You've got three choices when it comes to the rear ramp door. You can either do the full screened in enclosure, you can do just the cables. Now the cables attach to the ramp door and it suspends that door off the ground and makes somewhat of a porch out the back of the trailer. Uh, or you can do the vinyl inserts that just cover up just the opening from the ramp door itself. Moving to the inside of the trailer, we've got our dinette table in the rear and we've got our rollover sleeper sofa here. We've also got one behind me. Now, a couple of things you can do to customize it is you can move this dinette table toward the front and add another sleeper sofa back here. So we could swap these two when you roll it out into a bed on either side, that makes one big bed going across. So depending on what your family or what your needs are, if you have friends coming along, uh, you might want to add that or, or change up this floor plan. But this also gives you a good idea on what the available light is on the inside of the trailer with those extra large windows uh, on either side of the trailer. By far and away, the most popular upgrade or change to this model year has been the kitchenette. So this kitchenette package has been made a little bit larger to accommodate for an extra large sink. That was one of the biggest complaints is that the sink was too small, you couldn't fit a pan in there. There's a gooseneck faucet with an extension here, uh, as well as more storage underneath the cabinet here. You've got your convection microwave. Now we mount it up here. Overhead cabinet, we've got our stereo system here, as well as our re refrigerator freezer mounted there. Now the walls and the ceiling come insulated, but with the extruded aluminum floor that provides basically zero R value or insulation factor for that matter. So one thing we've added to this particular unit is we spray foamed underneath the trailer. So that's gonna keep the, uh, the interior and the flooring warmer in the winter or in the spring, fall and cooler in the hot summer. So it's not just radiating heat or cold, depending on the temperature that you're in. Uh, we added the airline package uh, on the inside of the trailer, which allows for ample tie down points throughout. That's something we do on almost every single unit that we stock. Okay, the bathroom's a little bit different too. The hardware, uh, the faucet, and uh, the knobs have been changed out. Otherwise, it's just a big walk around bathroom. Uh, I'm six foot two, 210 pounds, and I find it to be ample in terms of space. Most of the competitors have what's called a wet bath where the toilet sits inside the shower. You've got to kind of straddle over the toilet when you're taking a shower, it's really awkward and uncomfortable. And there is one major competitor that, uh, that actually mounts the sink that's in the bathroom. They mount it in the bedroom, which is really strange. Uh, so that's something that's uh, been changed and uh, kept through and through for model years here with ATC. In the bedroom, we also mounted a television there. That's just an available accessory. For the most part, everything else though, in this bedroom here is standard. So you've got ample ca uh, cabinetry, you've got uh, drawers, storage, uh, as well as easy access to the water heater and some of the mechanical items that are inside this trailer. It's mounted in the bedroom that you can access. Another change that ATC made is they changed their plastic latches on their cabinetry to metal. So that's just a, a small piece, but it is a, a nice upgrade. Now, one thing you couldn't do with any of the competitors, any of them, is you couldn't go to the lot, take a look at the trailer, and you couldn't grab onto the cabinet, 210 pounds. Couldn't grab onto the cabinet and, and do that because the thing would rip right off the wall. So the build quality, the construction on how these things are put together is meant to last you for years and years to come. On the driver's side of the trailer, you've got most of your utility and most of your function of the trailer. It's kind of the business side. So you've got uh, water intakes and hookups. You've got a utility shower where you can spray off muddy boots or take a shower on the outside of the trailer. Uh, but we've also added a water spigot. Now that's on the driver's side toward the front. That's a new upgrade that you can add uh, to this model year. And the nice thing about that is that that's a quick way to empty out your water tanks instead of running water through your faucet, through your sink, down into your gray water tank and then out that way. You can just turn on the exterior water spigot and empty it out that way. Depending on where you're geographically located, you've got a couple of different options. We can either, you can either pick up at one of our locations, of course, you can pick up factory direct and save the freight. And by doing that, you get to see the facility and see how these things are put together. It's a really interesting thing to do. Uh, or we can drop ship directly from the factory right to you so you don't even have to go anywhere. If you like what you've seen here, please subscribe to our channel for more quality trailer videos that we'll be putting out in the future.